edit it because I'm afraid I'm going to forget sure. <laughs> to, to unpause it. Um, we do have 30 something people that registered. We also nice. tend to have, yes, because we thought nice weather. We weren't sure. <laughs> Everybody's out on go. the bikes. They don't want to talk bikes. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we'll, we will put it on Facebook Live and it will be on YouTube. Oh, great. As well. Good. Yes. Um, and in fact, for right now, actually, you're going to be our last webinar, at least briefly. We're going to check in with people and, and find out if they want us to continue this or not. So, yeah. That's special. Oh, well, thanks. I, I really appreciate being included in all this. And I've enjoyed the webinars. I think they've been a nice little respite during the off season, you know, when you can't always get out and ride. And when you're looking for just to connect with other cyclists and like minded things, it's always nice. Yes. And I did start looking at some of the registrants. It doesn't list towns, but it lists zip codes. So we have them from kind of all over, like further south than you, Chicagoland area, at least one person in Indiana. So some of them have attended quite a few of our webinars. Some of them, cool. since I'm working on Gibbet stuff, their names looked familiar from that. So yeah, we should yeah. have a good group. Um, oh, great. And in fact, actually, I should just start our Facebook Live early. Um, because that always takes a bit. And actually, it's wanting to put it on as me and not as Bright Illinois. So let me try this again. And Dave normally is on here too, but he had his own meeting. Okay, we let me try one more thing. Worst case scenario, we won't do this one as Facebook Live. Um, Oh, good. I just figured it out. Sorry for the two of you that are logged on and Troy. So I am going to just have us go live a little early so that I don't forget. And otherwise there is always a big long pause while I try to get that all set up. And then Troy, um, were you able to get your your uh, presentation and everything is already on your laptop? Yep, it's all good to go. Good. Let me go back. So good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us a little early. We will start at 7, and we are very excited to have all of you here this evening. I am going to quickly make sure that my phone does not go off. Oh, yes, probably, probably good. I'll get all kind of Strava notifications. <laughs> Everybody else out riding tonight on such a beautiful night. Yes, and with our, our Grand Illinois bike tour, I, I've noticed I get calls at odd times. Sometimes they just assume they're going to leave a voicemail as opposed to coming to me. So yes, this way we'll be all set. <laughs> yes, Rick said, hi, we are alive. Um, so when we do start, I'm going to give those of you who are on early the first little reminder. So with our, our webinars, we actually are going to want you to use the chat 
um, if you use the Q&A, that's not saved after the event. So use the chat and the default is going to be to panelists. So you may wanna just go into there now and change it to all panelists and attendees because usually there's some very good comments and questions that everyone will want to see. And I should make sure my presentation is going to be ready to go. Okay, I think we are all set. So what is your shirt say since we're waiting? Cat five cyclist, cat one dad. That is awesome. I did, Christmas. I'm all at the background and the shirt going today with Roger. Nice. Yeah, this was Christmas present from my daughter a year ago or so. But uh, yeah, one of my favorites. <laughs> Not fast in cycling, but hopefully better at being a dad. <laughs> yeah, that, I'd say that probably goes. Not not a fight fast cyclist, but yeah, hopefully I'm much better in the mom department than the, the cyclist. Okay, so we are at 6.55. We are going to wait till seven or just a little bit after. We do appreciate you guys joining us and what at least in the Chicagoland area, it is a gorgeous day today. What about in Springfield? Oh, it was beautiful. It was mid 60s or so. Um, you know, just a few white fluffy clouds floating by, but so nice to um, be out either if you had an opportunity to ride. I was outside working a lot of the day today. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll get into my real job after a while, but it was nice just to be able to be outside today for sure rather than cooped up in the office? I've been mainly riding at sunrise. It's been a little juggling, you know, work duties and parent duties, particularly with everything still being a little crazy with the pandemic. That seems to be the, the one time I can actually guarantee to get a, a ride in. And that's been chilly over the last few days. It, yes. I, I had on like a heavy jersey and, um, you know, tights and a little bit heavier shoes. And yes, then same thing yesterday. In fact, yesterday I told my son he should probably wear pants because it was so chilly. And yeah, then it was gorgeous then too. We have, uh, we're up to five, Tom Clark, he's in the Springfield area, right? He is. He, well, he may be in Florida at this point in time. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, great to have Tom aboard. <laughs> yeah, I know Ed uh, Varsati just came back from Florida not that long ago. In fact, that's when it got chilly. So it was like somehow he was bringing us cold weather. So again, thank you for everyone that is on. We will start at seven or maybe a minute after just to make sure everyone gets in. We are live on Facebook right now. And if any of your friends are ended up missing this webinar, it will also be on YouTube afterwards. So they can still check it out if they're not able to make it this evening. And Troy, I'm assuming I'm doing both polls pretty soon after my intro, yeah. but you'll yeah. just have to let me know. Sure. In fact, yes, I did double check to make sure that they were I knew I put them in our test session. I was pretty sure I put them in this one as well. So yes, we are all set. Great. Lots of familiar names on here. Again, thank you all for joining us this evening. Yes, Rick, I could see the thumbs up. I'm kind of impressed that you were able to do that. I have not figured that one out. Jerry Peterson has his Yes, Jerry, did you want to say hello to us? Um, I think you can unmute if you wanted to say something. Cut and paste. Okay, not sure if you raised your hand. Can you, can you yes, hear me? I okay. can. I just wanted to mention that if Helma John had done what he does in a car, and automatically stop at the stop sign, he would be alive today. And I think cyclists should
get in the habit of automatically stopping at stop signs, no matter what, no matter if it's three in the morning. That's my, that's my only point. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we do. Um, I am going to give a pitch for our bike safety quiz in a little bit. We do, of course, um, want everyone, cyclists and motorists, to be following the rules of the road to make it safer for everyone. Okay, so we're going to wait just another minute or two. And we hope you are all enjoying the weather. I believe it's supposed to be gorgeous this weekend as well. So hopefully we will all get long rides in. If you're not able to trek to Springfield for the weekend to try out some of the stuff Troy's gonna talk about, we hope that you all are able to get out in your area and enjoy some nice bike rides. Just a slight chance of rain here for the weekend, which is good. I'm going down to St. Louis to ride this weekend at the Vino on uh, Saturday. And I think a slight chance of rain there too. 70 degrees should be gorgeous. Yes. I haven't looked that far ahead yet. I know what the weather's gonna be tomorrow morning. <laughs> Whether you need to wear tights again on your cycle. Uh, it's on gonna your, feel on your like about morning. 45. So yeah, it won't be as chilly. It won't be as nice as it will be later in the day. But sometimes it gets busy, kind of like our, our Grand Illinois bike tour. For most people, it's their big vacation. When we had it in 2019, I think even finding time to like go off and shower was sometimes hard, let alone get in bike rides. I got very short ones in. Okay, so we are at seven o'clock. Jeff Meyerhoff just said, hey, Troy. Hey, Jeff. Um, so good evening, everyone. I am going to share my screen. We want to thank you all so much for coming and joining us today. Give me one second. Okay, so I am Gina Kenny with Ride Illinois. We are so glad to have Troy Gilmore joining us today, who is the president of the Springfield Bicycle Club. And today's webinar will be exploring Springfield by bike. So I'm gonna just go over very briefly a little bit of Ride Illinois and then we will turn it over to Troy. So for those of you, I, I saw a lot of familiar names, but if any of you are not familiar with us, we are the statewide bike advocacy group or nonprofit. So we advocate for what's on our slide here, bike friendly roads, more trails and improved trails, favorable legislation and policies, cyclists and motorist education, and just to share our love of cycling with others. So I'm the one in the middle on my mountain bike when it was obviously a little colder. We have Dave Simmons, our executive director, and then Ed Barsati, who had been our executive director, and we did not let him retire completely. So he's still working for us part time. Do you want to give a little thank you to our corporate members? So you can find more information about all of them on our website. As I, I did mention a little bit briefly right before we officially started, um, one of the things we have is our bike safety quiz. The very nice thing about this is, as you know, sometimes it's hard to convince people they actually need knowledge on bicycling and being around cyclists. So our quiz, besides being free, it gives you the information in a quiz format. So if you know the answer, there's just a brief thing you go on, but if you don't know the answer, then it, it explains why that would be wrong and what would be correct. Um, not only is it free, we do have grants available to driver's ed and schools right now. So please check it out. One of our new initiatives from Dave, our executive director is the Ride Illinois community. So basically, you know, sometimes we're known as just the, the road cyclists and, and Lycra and we want to really make it so that everyone that rides a bike feels that they're part of our community. So whether you're riding for transportation, racing, recreation, whatever, we want everyone to feel welcome here. So real briefly, there's a lot of ways you can support us. Of course, we would love for you all to become members of our organization. Being a not-for-profit advocacy group, our main source of revenue is from memberships. 
Uh, we want you to, of course, follow the rules of the road, uh, promote us to your friends and family, take our quiz, and of course, let us know what you think we should be doing. If there's other webinars you want, things of that nature, you can email us, call us, get to us through social media. Um, and then this is our contact info. So I did mention this briefly already. The main thing is um, the Q&A tab, that's not saved after the webinar. So we would love for any comments or questions for you to put in the chat. The default is just to panelists. So please mark that to uh, panelists and attendees so we can all see. And like I said, this uh, is being recorded. So you can check it out on our website, YouTube or Facebook after the fact. And that is all I have. So Troy, do you want me to launch a poll first? Let's do, I would like to get to know you guys just a little bit better. And it's difficult because not all of us are on screen. I can see your comments in the chat. We'll take some Q and A kinds of things, but here's our first question. And so I'm just curious to know, do you live in the Springfield area? Pretty simple question, yes or no. And it's uh, not going to affect too much the outcome of my presentation, but um, I'm just curious to know how many folks we've got from the Springfield area here. So um, do you live in the Springfield area? Easy click, uh, yes or no, and we'll see the tabulation results here of that in and just I a second. Think so 67% no, 33% yes. Cool. And if you want to tell us where you're from, feel free. It is, of course, not required. Um, so I shared. Okay, so if everyone saw this, and That's then great. should I go to the second one? Yeah, so I'm kind of curious about um, where, like, obviously, we're doing this in Springfield. And so, you know, uh, two thirds of you are not in the Springfield area. But if you have an opportunity to travel, and uh, of course, the governor just announced big travel uh, initiative yesterday. But if you've got an opportunity to travel, do you travel with your bike? Again, pretty simple, yes or no question. And uh, you know, just do you take it with you on a whim? Are you heading out to look for some place specific? But when you travel, do you travel with your bike? Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a few more seconds to see if the last few of you want to reply. Again, you do not have to, this is of course voluntary. Okay, I am going to end polling. So 67% said yes, 33% said no. I have to say uh, mainly because I always think about taking my bike, but I don't always. Um, I was a little surprised. So I am going to stop the share. And sometimes the tough thing with taking your bike someplace is what do I do with it when I do get it someplace? And, and that's maybe not necessarily where do I go with my bike, but what do I, you know, safety, security, all of those kinds of things. There's kinds of questions that go on in that. But we're hopeful that after tonight's program, you're going to want to come to Springfield for those of you who are not in the Springfield area, uh, two thirds of you. And um, we can certainly give you guys some things to see and do um, around Springfield. So, um, okay, all right, I think, uh, let me go ahead and share my screen and we're gonna get started with this. Um, I would like to thank a few folks, um, first of all, uh, and tell you a little bit more about myself here before we get into Springfield. But um, I've been married to my wife, Michelle, for about 29 years. Uh, just come July, we'll celebrate our 29th anniversary. We have one child, her name is Maisie, and she graduated from the University of Cincinnati just last spring. And we've lived in the Springfield area since 1995. So this is really home to us. I've lived here longer than I have any place else in my lifetime. So this is really home for us. In 2021, I became a Pactimo ambassador. And uh, some of you may be familiar with some other ambassador type brands. Uh, Pactimo is a type of cycling clothing. And one of the things in the PACT code of conduct is this. It says, I commit to having fun on my bike, going on epic adventures, riding Pactimo whenever possible, and I commit to engaging other cyclists, that is saying hello, waving, nodding my head, etc., 
while out on my bike and smiling as often as possible. But don't worry, we know that further up your climb, that smile becomes a grimace. And those are kind of the rules that I try to live my cycling life by, just to be able to be friendly to people uh, when I see other cyclists out on the road or out on the trail. So I'd like to give a shout out to some of those people that are behind me for this presentation tonight. First of all, thanks to Ride Illinois, particularly David and Gina for inviting me to promote Springfield and the cycling community here in our town. I'd like to also thank my family, including my wife and my daughter, who have not seen me much. And uh, she's been, both of them have been working from home due to the pandemic over this last year, but I've gotten outside to ride as much as I possibly can. And they certainly stand behind the many miles that I've ridden. I'd also like to thank my brother who got me back into cycling several years ago and reconnected a bond that had been lost for quite a few years. In addition, the Springfield Bicycle Club board, without you helping here in Springfield, we could not do what we so try, so try so hard to accomplish every year um, in Springfield in the cycling community. And even to my boss who allows me to pursue great things while on the bike and encourages me on the weekends, we're gonna talk a little bit more about my real work job uh, later. Being the president of the Springfield Bicycle Club is all for fun. And lastly, I definitely wanna thank you, the cyclists, who enjoy riding and talking bikes whenever we can. So with that, uh, we will get on with the show. So look at this cute little kid here. Uh, so we, I think, all had a love for cycling when we were younger. And if you want to connect with me after this program is over, here's ways in which you can do that. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Strava, I'm on Facebook, or you can certainly feel free to email me. Um, at the email address there below. That goes to the Springfield Bicycle Club and then you can connect with me from there. So exploring Springfield by bike. The first thing that I wanna talk about and give a shout out to as well is the Mayor's Bike Advisory Council. So this is the advocacy group uh, that works in Springfield directly with the mayor's office to create a bicycle friendly community. Currently, the Springfield area is in a bronze status, but we are working hard to become a silver status. And we do that through education and infrastructure and signage. And uh, we'll be talking about one of the major components that Ride Illinois assisted with uh, later on in the program that is helping us to further our mission of cycling in the community. So of course, the Springfield Bicycle Club is a big part of cycling in Springfield. We were established nearly 50 years ago in 1972. We have big plans for our upcoming 50th anniversary, and uh, we hope to reveal some of those um, later on in 2021 in preparing for 2022. Currently, we have about 300, we have 358 members on our roster. Um, and that might seem a little bit low considering how many people live in the Springfield and surrounding communities, which is about 120,000. So we have a big mission to do to try to increase our membership numbers. And of course, we work hard at what we do and would love to have even you on board as a, as a Springfield Bicycle Club member. The board is, uh, comprises of 14 different positions from members at large to office holders. And uh, the board really helps direct the future and shapes the events in the cycling community for the Bicycle Club. Membership, it starts at $25 for an individual. And if you're interested in more than that, more information on that, you can go to our website, which is pretty easy to remember. Um, it's abbreviated Springfield, but we always say it's speffled cycling. Dot org, kind of a funny little uh, name, but you can remember us, speffoldcycling.org. There you can find out more information about membership, and that allows uh, you to purchase SBC kit because that's only available to club members and uh, that you saw in one of the earliest pictures, and also give, gives you a discount on the Capital City Century, which I'll talk about here in just a minute. That's our largest ride of the year. And then um, it also helps with that advocacy around town and the Bicycle Advisory Council, making it better, safer for cyclists in the Springfield community with more signs and uh, trails. 
So the Capital City Century, that is actually our largest Springfield Bicycle Club ride. We do it annually, and it is a major fundraiser for the club. And, and when I say largest ride, uh, this year for 2021, we anticipate that we will have 575 riders is what our goal is. And uh, this year, the event is going to be held on Saturday, September 11th. Um, that is an important date for a lot of reasons, but one of those reasons is that it's the Capital City Century. And uh, this year will be the first time in 49 years that this has been held on a Saturday. Um, we're changing it for a couple of reasons, but one may be to encourage more people to drive to Springfield and ride the Century on a Saturday. You can drive home and then uh, you can um, rest up on Sunday and still be back to work on Monday. Um, registration will be available by June 1. You can find out more um, about that at our website. And uh, there's distances from, um, I think we're gonna do a 25 mile ride this year, questionable, but uh, probably 25 to 125 miles. So it's one of those things that you don't have to come and ride exactly 100 miles. This uh, century is a century event. Yes, we would love for people to be able to, to ride the 100 miles and maybe it's your first opportunity to ride a century. A lot of the surrounding community around Springfield is fairly flat. This year's century will have a combination of some hills and some flatlands. And uh, we're gonna be going uh, far west of Springfield this year um, to places if you're familiar with Springfield. And for those of you that are around town, we're gonna be going to places like Chandlerville and Bath and Oakford for our 125 mile route uh, back down through uh, Petersburg and Athens and then back down to Springfield. So that is coming soon, uh, June 1st, just a couple of weeks away. And right now it looks like registration is going to start off at members uh, will pay $35 and non-members $45. Those rates will increase monthly until we get to a time just before the ride in September where uh, registration is likely to be $60. So if you wanna save a few bucks, um, certainly jump on board early for that. New, brand, brand new in Springfield, um, the Sangman Cycling Series. The email just went out to club members and non-members who are on our mailing list last night. The Sangman Cycling Series is actually a series of four different rides in and around Springfield in the community. And uh, those rides happen once a month. And there will be distances anywhere from approximately 25 to approximately 100 miles. And um, there's going to be four different distances for each one of these rides. And uh, this is just a small way for us to get together after the pandemic and have some smaller type events. Um, what you get is uh, we're asking people to pay 22 bucks, get you registered for all the rides. On the first, you, you get a window of time period to ride these rides. So it will actually be a nine day window. It'll start on a Saturday and then end the following Sunday. And uh, the first Saturday and the last Sunday, we will actually have aid stations for the shorter routes. So we will be out there with water and prepackaged um, nutrition, some type of Cliff Bar, Powerade, something like that. And then um, you also will be able to enter if you complete the ride for any one of them. If you complete one of those rides, you will be entered into a drawing for a local bike shop gift certificate. So this is another way that the Springfield Bicycle Club is actually giving back to the cycling community. We're creating community by getting riders together. We're asking you to pay a little bit. You will actually get a t-shirt out of the deal too that says Springfield Bicycle Club on it, um, a non-event type t-shirt. So it's just a, a logoed t-shirt. And then, um, and then again, we're giving back uh, to the bike shops in the area. So brand new, brand, brand spanking new. The email just went out last night and we're pretty excited about what uh, the Sangamon Cycling Series has to offer. I uh, wanted to take a little bit of time here and talk about the Springfield Bicycle Map. And I know Tom Clark is on this webinar tonight and I have to give a big shout out to Tom. 
because he almost single-handedly put this together. Uh, this was, I think, a bit pre-pandemic, but then I think he finished it up during the pandemic. And so uh, there's a lot of other people to thank, as you can see on this particular slide, Wright, Illinois is at the top of this list, but also in partnership with the Bicycle Advisory Council, the Springfield Department of Public Works, of course, the Bike Club um, Visit Springfield and the county contributed to this as well. And uh, this brand new bike map, if you guys want to email me, um, again, I'll give you my email address at the end of the webinar. Um, or maybe we can type it into the chat too, Gina, but um, email me and say, I want a Springfield bicycle map and give me your address and we'll snail mail one of these out to you. They are cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't have one with me tonight, but I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a map. I mean, it's, it's a big map and uh, it lists, lists a ton of great things in and around Springfield. And so you can find um, some of the things like the wayfinding signs, that we talked about earlier that were helping to get us into that silver status. And you can see that um, you can, when you drive down downtown in Springfield, the bike lanes are not only bike lanes, but they're marked now with signs that point to interesting things like the Lincoln tomb um, or the state fairgrounds. It also has lots of points of interest on it as well too. So uh, my job is actually as the assistant site superintendent for the state historic sites in Springfield. That's a big mouthful, but I get to oversee, in addition to my supervisor, um, six different historic sites in Springfield, including places like the Dana Thomas House, a Frank Lloyd Wright designed home, the old state capitol, um, the Lincoln tomb, and all of those places are listed on this map. You can actually download the map from the Wright Illinois uh, website as well too. So that is listed here for you. But uh, there, and there again is the people who made all of this possible. But uh, that is really a great, great, great addition to the cycling community. And we are uh, giving those away at tourism sites. And uh, I usually, for whatever reason, don't have one tonight, but usually have a bunch of them stuffed into my truck and uh, all throughout and I'm giving them away to people that I encounter um, that I just even see a bike rack on a car and I'll be like, hey, do you, do you, have, do you ride in Springfield? Here's a bike map for you. Um, so you can either scan a QR code if you wanna just scan this right now from this presentation with your phone, it should take you uh, to a, uh, a downloadable link. And then of course um, the bike shops have our maps as well too. And uh, the visitor center, um, I know this says once COVID restrictions end, but they actually have made those available at the visitor center, which is actually on the front cover of the bike map. That is what we call the Lincoln Herndon Law Office, but the Visit Springfield um, Visitor Center is in that building. And so it's a great opportunity for you to stop by, learn more about Springfield, and be able to pick up a bicycle map. So in and around Springfield, um, we haven't really talked about where to go, but um, there are a lot of paved trails in and around Springfield. We've got um, four distinct ones, and those include the Sangman Valley Trail, which is probably personally my favorite. It's very close to my house, um, only about a mile for me to get on to that trail, and it's 11 and a half miles long going one direction. So I get a great ride um, from my house. Um, and then you've got the Inner Urban Trail and the Wabash Trail and the Lost Bridge Trail, which goes out toward Rochester. That one is beautiful as well too. And especially during the fall, you get the colors that change and there's a, a tunnel bridge that's uh, underneath the, you drive underneath the highway on the Lost Bridge Trail. So that's a lot of fun too. So those are some great paved trails that we have around the area. Um, you can also bike Route 66 in Springfield. Get your kicks on Route 66. So 25 minutes south of Springfield, that's about a 25 minute car drive, not a bike ride, okay? Um, along Route 4, close to Chatham and Auburn, which again, there's some great cycling out there. You can find an original section or a restored section, I should say, of Route 66. It's about a mile and a half long. And you see, here's a couple of our uh, club members that are on Route 66 here. And I do want to point out too that Wright Illinois has a link to Route 66 um, routes as well. 
but I think that the right Illinois map goes, it's been a while since I've looked at this, but I think it goes a little bit further east than this brick road. So if you're looking on um, the right Illinois Route 66 stuff, um, just Google, you know, brick road, Auburn, Illinois, and it'll get you between the two. And uh, there's some great country riding between the two. So that's, that's a, a pretty neat kind of feature. Um, and there are some Strava segments out there too, by the way. Don't come and get my KOM. My, my buddy holds one of those. All right, so uh, I wanna talk a little bit about the website that we have. Um, again, speffoldcycling.org. You can find all kinds of great stuff, but the one thing that I wanna point out is the Ride With Us tab. And under there, you can find ride schedules for the month, you can find um, SBC riding groups, and you can find Springfield area routes. We're starting to upload more Ride With GPS. I forget what all the other acronym extensions are of those things. So you can download them to your Garmin if you want to. You can print a, a PDF map there as well. And they're not only road rides, but they're gravel rides as well. So if you're coming into Springfield and you say, hey, I, I don't know anybody here, but I want to ride, what's a good route? Go to the Bike Club webpage and look under this Ride With Us tab because you'll be able to find then tested routes that are safe, that other cyclists have ridden. And uh, you can know that, that those are safe ride roads to ride because as we all know there's some crazy drivers out there and just some places where we don't want to ride and you don't want to find yourself um you know riding down the on-ramp to get on interstate 72. so check out the ride with us tab um we just got back into organized lead rides after a, about a year and a couple of months of being away. I think it was March of 2019 or uh, March of 2020, excuse me, March of 2020. And I think it was, I think I led the last organized ride before the pandemic. And people are just anxious to get back together to ride with groups. We knew that ride small cells of riders have been forming for a long time, but we wanted to make sure that everybody was doing that safely. So we've put into place some COVID type precautions. Um, you know, if you're feeling sick, stay home. We don't want to see you. If uh, you're going on a ride where you're going to be stopping at a Casey's because, you know, all central Illinois rides have to stop at a Casey's, um, bring a mask with you because we want to make sure that we're putting on a good can face, can I say that? Is that what I mean? Um, we want to make sure that we're showing what we really mean inside. And of course, when we're wearing SBC logo gear on, we want to make sure that we're following the rules when we stop in there. So uh, the club has really five different level rides. We've got A, B, C, D, and Easy. And uh, the A riders are like those guys that go 18 plus miles an hour on any given day. And then uh, and that's their average, you know, go figure. Um, and then there's the easy group, which um, coming up, we'll have a couple of those rides. Uh, we have a night ride that will be on Saturday night next week. And then our ride of silence on Wednesday next week will also be an easy ride. So that's the rides that are usually about five miles an hour, um, five to seven, somewhere in there. And D gets up to 10 to 13 miles an hour and B's and C's are somewhere around 15 to 17. So if that kind of gives you an idea as to where, where we fall, when you're coming to Springfield and you're looking at the ride schedule, all that stuff is spelled out for you on our website, but that will give you an idea as to where you might fall as a particular rider. And then just new this year, we actually had a guy who said, you know what? He said, I'm, I, I just am not a D rider, but he said, I don't classify myself as a C rider. He said, I want to create a new classification of rides, and we're going to call ourselves the Slow C Group. Okay, well, I don't know if that really is the greatest name for you, but if that's what you want to call yourself, that's fine. And that group is really taken off like wildfire. And so it's a great opportunity to get more cyclists, I think, into the cycling community 
introduce them to group rides. And then, um, you know, if it's their goal to move up a letter grade, then so be it. And if they enjoy just the camaraderie and uh, the easy pace of a slow C group, then that's cool too. Also want to give a shout out to the bike shops. Uh, some of you that live in Northern Illinois, you probably can't count how many bicycle shops there are in and around the area, but around the Springfield scene, we've got six of them and they all have their little specialty niche, but I would say that each one of those shops is good at what they do. And uh, a lot of them have been around in business for a very long time. And so if you're coming into Springfield, uh, make sure that you're checking out one of the bike shops and uh, hitting, hitting those. Of course, you know, you can walk in and, and just be browsing and, and strike up a conversation about bikes. It doesn't have to be that you're absolutely looking for, you know, the next best thing. So my job in real life, and besides running the bike club, is uh, as the assistant site superintendent for the historic sites. And we launched a new program in April called Walk, Hike, Bike History. And this was an opportunity for us to respond to the pandemic with a lot of indoor things taking place and our capacity being lower in the indoor um, tourism, we wanted to make things accessible to people outside. And so within the bike portion of it, um, oh, here's the website, by the way, uh, you can find out more at historicspringfield.dnr.illinois.gov. Department of Natural Resources is the, is the agency that I work for. And uh, so I developed uh, two different bike rides. One of these is a portion of what's on the, the Springfield bicycle map. So you can find a part of that listed on that map. But these other two, these two bike rides go to some lesser known historic sites that are in Springfield. Of course, we're known for Abraham Lincoln. He owned property here in Springfield. His body is buried here along with his wife and three children. But there is a lot of other history that is in Springfield. We actually have the first African-American children's orphanage in the state of Illinois and possibly in the United States. We can't confirm that fact, but um, we have the first one in Illinois for sure. And we stop at that place. There's an ambidexter institute that we drive by, ride by. Uh, there's the black firehouse that responded to the 1908 race riots here in Springfield that the 1908 race riots ultimately came out with the NAACP. So there's some really great history in Springfield, and I would love to share that with you. If you want to sign up for one of my bike tours, go to historicspringfield.dnr.illinois.gov. There you can find an Eventbrite link that will take you to a registration page. In addition to the bike tours, we also provide a couple of outdoor cemetery hikes in Oak Ridge Cemetery, the same place where Abraham Lincoln is buried, and we have a few downtown history walks. Well, man, there's a ton to see and do in Springfield, and uh, I would love to have you guys come ride with us sometime. So we, um, I think, are about at that point in time where I'm more than open to taking some questions and uh, would love to hear what you guys have to say. And I want to just point out the bike shops that you listed. Um, we do also have a list of bike shops on our website that would have the links to their websites and we have the maps. So in Springfield and of course other areas of the state, it's always a good idea to know where your local bike shop is. And I did put our info at Ride Illinois address in the chat. So if anyone um, contacts us, I believe you actually, uh, Springfield area has all the maps. But if anyone sends us an email, we will make sure that we pass along the address and have a map mailed to you. Well, we, I think we actually got some spam, which is an interesting thing for our webinar. Um, but so we did want to find out uh, if you guys do have questions about riding in Springfield. I know we did have one of our Grand Illinois bike tours uh, tour Springfield a couple of years ago. Maybe everyone's now planning their next ride there. 
I'll tell you, for those people that don't travel with your bikes, right now we do not have a bike share program in Springfield, but we're working on that. So the Springfield, Bic Springfield Bicycle Advisory Council, working with the mayor's office, uh, we are trying to get a bike share program. We had plans to launch one pre-pandemic. Um, unfortunately, a lot of things got turned on their head and that was one of those things. But um, in the future, we hope that it would be a whole lot easier for people to ride bicycles in Springfield, particularly in the downtown area, if they didn't have to bring their bike. Um, but we, we hope that people can do that regardless, whether you're bringing your bike or renting one. Tom pointed out that he's making a new, a new QR code with the Ride Illinois URL. I don't know if that meant that 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 one doesn't go to you guys, or if you just have happened to. I think it just downloads the map, so it might might be that that you guys are going to go there. Uh, question: Are there repair stations and restrooms on the map uh, to encourage more people to ride? Yeah, that that's a good question. So there actually are, um, and uh, there's repair stations along the trail. So if you um, are you know, riding down the trail and you're like, oh my goodness, my handlebars are a little bit wobbly. And uh, you can certainly stop and there's some tools to be able to adjust their, those. And um, the, the bicycle club works with one of the local shops to service all of those, to make sure that all pumps are working and all of those kinds of things. And that usually happens early every spring. So we are um, grateful for um, those shops that do that for us. Um, Rick asks, uh, interested in the points in town, for instance, the Frank Lloyd Wright House, the Lincoln Museum, et cetera. Yeah, so the, actually on one of my bicycle tours, we, we don't go into any of the places. So you're, you're riding the five miles or you're riding the eight miles and you're on your bicycle. Uh, for the entire time. And we actually ride past many of the historic sites that you can go back and visit later. So we stop past the Dana Thomas house, the Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, we drive through a national park. Have you ever wanted a bicycle through an entire national park? Well, come to Springfield because the Lincoln home neighborhood is only four blocks and you can ride for two blocks right through it. And uh, we'll, we'll show you all of those places. And then um, you, can, you can certainly go back and visit those um, either in your vehicle or park your bike and, and walk into those places later. Joe asked, are there any bike rental shops in Springfield? Um, that's a good question. And I know uh, Tom has a lot more history with the bike club. Tom's actually a past president. So I should thank all the past presidents too that have made my job a whole lot easier for this year. But maybe Tom could answer that question if there's any bike rental shops in Springfield. Not that I know of, but um, when I've traveled to other places, I've reached out to bike shops and I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm a cyclist and I don't have my bike, but what do you have that may be a used bike or that's on the rack that you're looking to sell? Um, and, you know, would be fitting me in my size and, and, you know, can I, can I borrow your bike for the day kind of a thing. So, you know, there might be a shop that might work with you on something like that as well too. And I that, would that, say, I know in my area, there are some of them like let you demo bikes and there are several bike shops around here. So yes, I would um, check, reach out to a couple of them yeah. and some of them, even if they don't have an uh, official rental program, they are willing, like Troy said, to work with you. Yeah, no, that's great. Good questions. Anything else from anybody? Well, I hope that gave you a great overview of some of the things that, that we have to offer in Springfield. Again, probably my biggest push is to make sure that you get on our website. That website has changed a lot over the last year, we've gotten a new webmaster and she uh, just recently retired, which is always great. And she has really taken on some things very gung ho. And so um, that's, that's really a great thing, a res good resource to have. Um, it's always bookmarked on my computer and usually always the, the first thing that my internet is opening up to. 
is riding around the lake safe? Um, yes, it certainly is. It recently was repaved, I would say probably within the last three years. And now there's a decent um, 18 to 24 inch shoulder that's on the lake uh, roads and um, great riding around the lake. And if you get off of some of those roads, you can find some really nice riding around there too. So that's, that's great. And Ken, I think um, I'd have to check on our, our ride list, but I'll make sure that there's some rides that get uploaded to the Ride With Us tab that actually circle around Lake Springfield. On Wednesday night, there's a local bike shop in Chatham that always does a ride. And uh, many times that ride is going out around the lake. And so we're taking a 20 plus person Peloton out um, around the lake and there's usually a an a slash b group a b group bc group that forms after that one too and uh and i i've never felt unsafe riding around the lake i felt more unsafe riding other country roads um but around the lake has always been good to me Well, you must have gave such an excellent presentation and with the website you answered everyone's questions. So we do really appreciate you taking the time to tell everyone about Springfield. Um, we know that this was a nice ride for everyone to go out and enjoy a bike ride themselves. So we appreciate both you as well as all of our attendees joining us this evening. Um, as I mentioned, if you Earlier, if you have friends that you think really would have loved this webinar and just were not able to make it this evening, uh, we do have it on Facebook Live. It will be on YouTube and we will also have a link on our website. And if you do all of a sudden come up with a question that you didn't think to ask before, you can reach out to Tom. You can also reach out, sorry, Troy. I'm looking at the comment from Tom. Um, you can reach out to Troy, but you can also reach out to us and we will be sure to uh, find out the answer for you. Hey, so with that, I think we're going to end a little early and we hope that everybody has a wonderful night and enjoys all the nice weather this weekend. Happy riding ahead, everybody. Happy riding. Okay, bye everyone. Bye-bye.